Hey, what's going on guys? It's Bosnian and welcome back to yet another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be discussing the leak that occurred not too long ago about the fact that there will be a Fortnite-like evolving map in GTA 6 that will evolve over the course of time as they add several expansions to the game. I'm assuming most of this will take place in the online mode, but that doesn't mean that we should rule out DLC for the story mode as well. In fact, I'm almost certain that there's gonna be story DLC for the game as Rockstar has previously mentioned a sort of nostalgia in bringing back story DLCs to their video game. And what better video game to do this in than GTA 6, right? Uh, but that's kind of besides the point. Today I wanted to focus on this idea that GTA 6's online mode will be an ever-evolving map with constant additional islands being added into the world's map. The rumor is, is that the world of the game will be a gigantic map with mostly ocean. But as time progresses, they will add more islands into the map along with other DLC features as well. One thing to note, however, is the fact that uh, in this leak, they mentioned that there will be a Fortnite-like experience in the multiplayer. And by that, I mean all sorts of different characters and new areas or different events going on. I can already see it. Tornado events or alien apocalypses or, or zombie apocalypses. I mean, there is just so much stuff to go over and that, you know, it's not worth talking about all of this in this video because in this video, I just wanted to talk about the fact that uh, they're going to be doing uh, similar things, but also that there could possibly be numerous skins in a marketplace that we could buy for the online mode. Now, we all know Rockstar Games loves money, so we definitely know that there's going to be some sort of an economy within the game in the online mode, so some sort of like a battle pass or something. I'm sure that the more you play, the more you're going to get to unlock stuff within the battle pass if you buy it. Uh, what I think is going to happen is uh, that GTA 6 will completely become the next Fortnite in the way that it'll be what all the brands and movies and entertainment agencies flock to to market their new products. So if, say, there's a new movie coming out and it's like an Avengers movie, we could see Avengers-like character skins coming to the multiplayer version of the game. I can already see us being able to play as different Marvel characters, so like Thor or Hulk or like imagine like flying around as Iron Man and just shooting players from the sky with laser beams or something. Now, <laughs> I know what a lot of you are thinking, there's no way that this is going to happen. But just look at what happened to GTA Online. Uh, they basically did everything that nobody expected them to do. They added flying cars and all sorts of goofy ass stuff into the game. They did this because they knew that they would make a lot of money doing it. And you damn well know they're going to be doing the same exact thing in GTA 6. Beyond Avengers and all that superhero stuff, I'm sure that there's going to be other character skins uh, that we're going to be able to play as, such as, for example, Master Chief from Halo, or uh, characters from Gears of War, and e even more. Just look at all of these skins uh, that they have in the game of Fortnite. It's, it's almost hilarious to see just how many video games and movies and whatnot are putting their own copyrighted materials into Fortnite. Fortnite was and probably is one of the most successful online marketplaces uh, ever for a video game in existence. So you know damn well that Rockstar is going to sell out and do this too. They're going to do it and they're going to replicate exactly what Fortnite did in an attempt to make the most money they can. Just look at the way that GTA 5 panned out. Uh, now obviously we could get all of these skins and whatnot. But like I said, if we're playing as Iron Man, for example, would you be able to fly around and shoot other players from the sky with laser beams? I mean, that would obviously be a sort of a pay to win uh, situation. So I'm not sure how they go about adding these skins. Maybe they'd just be completely cosmetic in the way that they would only be added for looks instead of extra abilities and whatnot. On top of all this, we'll be getting all sorts of different islands added to the world of the game that add all sorts of new different areas that we could explore. It's a huge ocean, so of course they're gonna add new islands and just pretend like those islands were always there to begin with and we could never find them uh, when we were going out into the ocean. Because again, the ocean's gonna be enormous, so there's no way that we could cover 
all of the entire ocean and that's why I made my previous video where I said that there's a lot to be explored in the oceans possibly uh, when when the game comes out so it's it's just such a good marketing strategy it's almost ingenious for GTA 6 to be doing this uh, now with all that said I think that the number one thing that I'm looking forward to the most is the events that will happen in the game obviously Fortnite had a lot of events like meteors crashing into the game or like like I don't know giant black holes in the sky and whatnot I mean I don't know I didn't play Fortnite at all so I don't know uh, all of the events and everything that happened but obviously our imaginations can run wild here uh, when it comes to how many different events they could host in GTA 6's online mode or even in the GTA 6 story mode uh, DLCs so I'm envisioning for example a meteor crashing into the middle of Vice City or something and then maybe things start crawling out of that meteor like different monsters and whatnot that came from space it would be insanely cool and uh, like I said they could do a whole event where zombies take over the world of Vice City as well uh, just imagine going around and shooting a whole horde of zombies while all of these civilians are running around like these NPCs getting chased by zombies and uh, getting eaten alive it would just be hilarious I mean um, maybe that's a little bit horrific for some of you but I think it's I think it's hilarious there could be a massive like uh, you know weather events like hurricanes or tornadoes or, or God knows what else I would say like uh, maybe even a snowstorm but I doubt snow like ever falls in Florida but um, who knows what's gonna happen in the game right we, we, we don't know yet um, and you know in the area of Florida there's no snow so it, it, if there was a snowstorm uh, there would have to be a very special reason for there to be a snowstorm in an event like that uh, for whatever reason they would be adding it into so I mean I you know I doubt that tornadoes are even possible in Florida either but we'll just have to wait and see what kind of events this game is gonna have and not only that, but all the different skins we could possibly see as well. The only thing I see happening from holding back potential companies joining in on the fun, uh, just like with Fortnite, is the fact that GTA 6 will obviously be a mature game with a lot of bloody violence and a lot of like drug usage and a lot of, you know, like sexual content and stuff like that. It's not really made for children and it's not family friendly, so who knows? Um, but this world runs on money, so, you know, maybe other brands, video games, or and, and movies, etc. wouldn't give a damn, and uh, they'd be willing to go ahead and let Rockstar Games add their copyrighted material into their game. So, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I, I can't wait to see what kind of events we'll be getting in in the game, and what kind of new areas we'll be unlocking um, as they're added into the game via new islands and stuff like that. It'll just be so much fun. So that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think. Maybe you have some ideas for any DLCs that might be coming to the world of GTA 6 when the game comes out. But uh, that's going to be it. Please leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, that's going to be it. Have a good day. See you in the next one.